Hello, good morning to everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you on this uh, last day of a very busy week for the Hybrid Neuro project. And at the same time, at, uh, on the first day, I also believe of a very busy life of the Hybrid Neuro Hub. Uh, this day is dedicated to networking, basically to discussion, what the hub should bring to us all, how we should connect to each other and uh, which services we would like to have included into this uh, hub. The very idea is to, to bridge the gaps between us. We are all always very, very busy, each doing our own work. And uh, we know that the communication is essential. And there are also many, many platforms that already exist, which enable the communication. And we know that we are still not communicating enough. Uh, so how to address this gap and uh, how to boost the development of the neural interfaces their exploitation in the practice this will be in the center of the discussions today uh, i need to thank to the organizers uh, upc who did a fantastic job and sit upc a fantastic job in organizing everything this week um, and they managed to to also recruit quite a large number of companies that, that uh, uh, will join us some of them later some of them are already here and uh, i think it's a very very successful start of the hybrid neuro so thank you very much for all the organization right um let me just use a few words about the hybrid neuro project uh, i already presented it uh, in the first day of the workshop but not all of you were here, so let me repeat. Uh, basically, this is a coordinated supported action uh, founded by European Union. And uh, since we have the partner from the England, United Kingdom, uh, partially also by UKRI, and it is dedicated to fostering the collaboration in the field of hybrid neural interfaces. So neural interfaces that basically join the cortical information uh, with the information from the skeletal muscles. We all tackle the functioning, the behavior of the central nervous system, but through different modalities, right? Uh, this initiative basically joins the expertise of Imperial College London, Chalmers University, uh, Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya and University of Maribor and uh, all these universities are experts in their fields right uh, we master the high density surface EMG we master the high density intramuscular EMG we are uh, experts in the field of the movement augmentation we are experts in the field of the cortical functional coupling and uh, brain source localization as we heard in this week right so we are joining the forces here with one purpose to extract whatever can be extracted from these interfaces and to help in objective assessment of either neurorehabilitation or diagnostic purpose right and this means that uh, we need to reach out we the the connection with clinical partners the connection with the companies is essential we are very good in developing new methodologies but many times we invent the problem and then we present the methodology that solves that problem right and i have a feeling this is not the best way of doing it so uh, we need to talk more in order to really understand the problem both components are needed, don't get me wrong, right? For the basic research, we need to have dreams, and then hopefully these dreams will someday be useful, right? But from the transitional research, the understanding of the problems is essential, okay? So um, there are many, many activities, actions uh, that help us reach the collaboration um, on one hand these are intended to the young researchers the ones entering the field right 
um, there are higher and higher needs for uh, good scientists, for the good experts, for the good engineers, uh, rehabilitation engineers, uh, neuroscientists, neurologists. So the, the needs for them are increasing and um, there is a need to, to foster, to boost the, the career of the young researchers to um, basically um, try to, to achieve that they start playing with this field and to ease the next steps into the career of the uh, excellent uh, scientists that, that could contribute to the field, right? Um, and uh, for this purpose, uh, there are many, many activities um, included in the project, like summer schools, workshops, webinars. Um, we will create, or we are creating, biomedical signal data repository so that uh, one can very easily start testing their ideas on, on how to process the data, right? We will organize massive online course uh, in order to ease the understanding of this uh, relatively complex and uh, certainly interdisciplinary um, topics. And uh, last but not least, and this is the main topic of the today, uh, we are uh, establishing international uh, hybrid neuro hub. We would not like this to be uh, just another platform where you register and then you forget till you get the next uh, newsletter, right? We want to make it a more uh, active community. And how to make it active community? Uh, well, we give uh, we gave a lot of thought to this. We don't have a very clear idea yet, uh, but hopefully today we will discuss how to to make it the most efficient. Uh, right? Again, it is not a purpose that that uh, this is just another platform where you describe your profile. It is intended to boost the communication between the focus. Uh, on the focus topics between the different stakeholders, right? Um, okay, there are also other events, uh, but uh, I think it was uh, enough about the, the general initiative of the Hybrid Neuro project. And maybe, Michael and Hale, will you take it over to present the, the hub? Okay. Thank you, Professor Holovar. So, well, as uh, Professor Holobar said, one of the objectives of, the, of this European action is uh, to create and to start uh, this uh, international hybrid neuro hub. Uh, this uh, hub should be composed of the different stakeholders necessary to, um, to have a, a useful and fruitful uh, research uh, innovation and technologies to arrive to the to the patients and physicians, no? The different stakeholders, uh, clinicians in the hospital, well, we are from universities and research centers in order to probably try to create new research, but also companies or startups uh, who are the, 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 the mean to uh, arrive to this uh, clinical practice in the hospitals, so the different stakeholders should uh, be involved in this uh, in this ecosystem. Uh, we have mission and ambition, but I think they are relatively obvious. Uh, so our mission is try to have uh, a hub dedicated to uh, pioneering breakthroughs in neural interfaces and muscle rehabilitation in order to, in the future, all individuals with these uh, neurological and motor impairments uh, try to have access to the state of the art of uh, high tech and uh, modern treatments to empower them to regain control of their bodies and uh, live fulfilling lives. Uh, we have created uh, just a link in order to register in 
all this to be interested in this hub to start because some of you uh, in companies or hospitals uh, ask me about okay what is the procedure to register to this hub we are interested to be involved or maybe we can come today but let me know exactly uh, the conclusions blah 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 so uh, we have created this uh, this uh, this page this link in order to obtain the whole information of these uh, different institutions and companies well we are the probably the first co-founders of this hub because this initiative uh, comes from the hybrid neuro project so the partners of the consortium led by university of maribor and also with other universities this university also the uh, foundation of CIT, which is specialized in innovation uh, of technologies in this case health technologies chalmers university in sweden and also the imperial college uh, london so what we can provide to the hub in this case these uh, research groups waiting for the new institutions and companies that we want to uh, to uh, work with them no? well uh, we are experienced well i don't know <laughs> it's bad to say in our group but i can say for the others for sure at the other universities uh, we are experienced researchers in the topic of neurological disorders, motor impairments, movement augmentation, information extraction, etc. So we think that we can uh, share useful information, experience, the project we have been involved during many years in this in this in these fields. We can also share data, as mentioned before uh, by Professor Holover. Uh, we we promote uh, open data as in the European uh, Union programs in the Horizon Europe. But in this case, well, we can provide more selected data uh, from our projects uh, related to neurological signals, EEG, high density EMG, force kinematics in our different protocols that we uh, prepare and we perform, and also algorithms, uh, demo applications to share what kind of uh, information we can extract from all of these uh, signals and data well to be uh, more uh, generous with these uh, members of the hub in order to promote the interaction between them uh, in some cases as i mentioned before in the case of the upc in Catalonia, health tech is very strong and very powerful initiative and partnership and also with the seed UPC. So we can provide support uh, and also we know consultant agencies, good consultant agencies to create uh, spin-offs, startups for the entrepreneurship. And also we can monitor all uh, research and innovation calls in the uh, different uh, horizon europe programs and also their international programs in order to uh, be in other if uh, there are some calls um, which uh, fit uh, better to our topic and to promote uh, proposals and, and applications to these calls so this is something that we can uh, provide from our side. There are also other goals, general goals uh, in, in this hub. There are always several ideas. We are, we, this is like a, a brainstorming, as I said, when I contacted or we contacted with all the companies, uh, hospitals, etc., to invite to, to come today. But well, obviously, in a working between different stakeholders, no, because this is something obvious. Uh, we should never walk alone, as uh, the Liverpool uh, fans uh, say in, in, in their song. No, uh, it's much better if we work uh, together with all the other stakeholders and agents. No, uh, we can create 
virtual forums or seminars in specific topics, depending okay, on the members of the hub, for example, I don't know, epilepsy or a stroke or if someone is, uh, or some members are uh, interested in uh, cognitive rehabilitation, etc. So we can try to create a virtual seminar, I don't know, every year or semester, I don't know. Uh, for sure, to create consortiums to prepare proposals for the European Union projects. You know that consortiums uh, must be composed not only for universities, but also uh, uh, companies or even uh, uh, research centers and hospitals. Uh, and also there are specific uh, programs like the Innovation Health Initiative, very more, much more focused to, to companies, and there are a lot of money. I can, I was surprised about this in the in the Horizon program. So uh, this kind of uh, facilities, when if we have this fat this hub, also by means of the hospitals uh, to know more about the patients' input and feedback. Probably, maybe we can also invite. Uh, Patients Association in the hub as well, in order to know more about the case of neurodegenerative, neurological disorders, etc., and also their relatives, uh, their voice can be also very important to listen to in order we, when we develop the technologies. Uh, well, uh, education and awareness, no? Uh, is, this is all, all, always good to. Uh, disseminate to the general public the technologies, the, the progress in the treatments, in the hospitals with patients in different diseases, uh, and also to know more in, in the society about the potential of neural interfaces and other activities. Other specific benefits that we can have in the, in the, in the hub, depending on the institution, if we are talking about hospitals or companies or research centers, well, they come from the previous uh, advantages, probably, no? But uh, in this case, we can start with uh, clinicians, no? Uh, well, they can expose the clinical needs they have, the problems they have, that maybe universities by research, starting new technologies, or maybe some solutions from companies can help them to the clinicians, to the physicians, to solve these this problems that maybe, uh, well, they don't arrive to, to, to the researchers, to us or to the companies. Uh, also to understand the new technological trends, sometimes they don't know that, okay, this technology is able to obtain this information in this, uh, in this disease or in this topic and the physician says wow this is something very useful and i think that we can use this in this uh, in this treatment or with these patients etc no in this situation well in our case in my experience is some, sometimes it happens uh improvement of therapies of and diagnosis with high-tech solutions uh well for sure the classic the classical uh, and traditional uh, therapies and evaluation of these therapies or diagnosis are, are good, for sure, but maybe we can, companies or even researchers, can add more uh, complementary information in order to facilitate the work of these clinicians and collaborative uh, projects uh, with other agents in, in research and innovation projects. No? In the case of industry, so sometimes the industry or the companies have a, a solution or product that, uh, okay, they want to validate clinically in one or different hospitals. Uh, sometimes they have the solution, but they can adapt or uh, update the solution for another uh, disease or another situation of the patients and they don't know and they can uh, well realize by means of this of this uh, hub this networking expanding solutions to new 
hospitals, okay? So we have a technology in the company, so uh, not only in the in the hospitals around, but other hospitals in, in Europe, etc. They can know more about sorry, they can know more about uh, about our technologies. Uh, incorporating cutting edge technologies into existing solutions because maybe some research that we have in the universities is so interesting and useful always uh, it's interesting and useful but more than uh, normal and they want to catch and to uh, to get these these technologies and to incorporate this in the in the companies uh, well the possibility of uh, in the recruitment uh, in this uh, uh personal recruitment process then they look for okay new new uh, engineers uh, skilled engineers from the universities with good references this this is something that uh, in the university we can uh, offer to the to the companies as well finally with the researchers this is my last <laughs> slide eh? but with the researchers uh well mm, for sure, we are interested in the, in this hub in the, in, in the universities. No, uh, we can understand better the, the needs, uh, barriers, and challenges of the of our technologies. Uh, I always say that okay, we public uh, a lot, maybe, but uh, we perform pilot studies uh, in hospitals. We collaborate with specific projects during one two years, but well, at the end, okay, we move to another project and. What happens with these technologies? No, we need to to transfer on to if this is something interesting and useful. These technologies are profitable, so we can uh, move these technologies to the clinical practice. And the only way is by means of the industry and in collaboration with hospitals, maybe with a startup, etc. So the idea is to facilitate this step. Um, and also to discover nova, nova, nova new technologies, uh, sorry, new diseases that we can apply our methodologies. No, for example, if we are expert in some techniques, uh, well, the, the possibilities of this technique uh, can be only not only one disease or do, or two. There are many neurological disorders, motor impairments, rehabilita motor rehabilitations, with different depending on the on the on the, on the patient the disease. So we can discover other other applications. We can also transfer better our technology to the industry, for example, and also to collaborate with this with the projects. No? There are only some ideas. Uh, I want to thank uh, these uh, institutions, um, especially companies and hospitals, and some research groups that they accepted. Uh, to participate in the in the session today, um, most of them here in the room, but the other one uh, connected by streaming. And uh, well, this is a good starting point. At the end, uh, the idea to have this special day at the end of the workshop is uh, okay to start. To, it's a kickoff of this hub. To start thinking about what kind of hub uh, we want to we want to have, it will depend of our interests and what we need. Uh, we don't want to impose anything, and for sure, all of you have more ideas than us. Uh, everything uh, is possible. So, well, the brainstorm uh, begins today during the morning, and uh, hopefully, we will have more idea and conclusions at the end of the of the of the of the sessions uh now i want to thank uh, dr uh, luis blanc his participation and to accept our invitation to to be here because uh, i told him that okay if i have to think about someone in the three columns Clinician, industry, and researcher. I, I think my first person is uh, Dr. Blank. Okay, he's uh, a researcher, very well known, director of the Institute of Park uh, uh reference uh, hospital in in this case in Sabadell, in all this area, but uh, with high impact in the in in the research. 
he's also a medical doctor, physician with a lot of experience, uh, intensive uh, uh, service in the hospital. And also he created uh, a company which is uh, selling and commercializing uh, tech solutions. So it was uh, he, I think that uh, they uh, passed the, the dead ballet and well, uh, he can uh, give us a very uh, global uh, vision about the, the, what we are, we were talking this, I have talked uh, during these minutes. And also I know he has been very related to other hubs, uh, he knows very well, and I expect from him for sure more ideas about, okay, what do we have to do and what we don't have to do in the hub in order to, to success. So thank you very much. So is your... Uh,